Hey, what's up guys? It's Tariq here from uh, smartbytrends.com. So today started out very quiet and suddenly the news broke that Garmin bought Tax. Most people are familiar with Garmin, but not too many outside of the cycling family are familiar with Tax. Tax is based off the Netherlands and makes cycling products such as water bottle, bottle cages, and bike tools, but their biggest specialty is in the smart bike trainers. I've uh, just recently posted a review on the Neo 2, which is by far their most advanced bike trainer. Great trainer, you can go and watch it, uh, the full review on this link here. But what does this all mean for the smart bike trainer industry? Well, I had a brief conversation with Garmin last fall at Interbike and they really wanted to get into the smart bike trainers market. I don't know if tax was on their radar or any type of acquisition was on their radar at that time. But what I got from them, from that conversation, is they really wanted to get into this industry and grab a sizable share. And here we go. Today they go and bought tax. Now, this is a really smart move on Garmin's end. Instead of going through the pain that many companies go through to build a new smart trainer, they instead bought a good company with a good reputation and a smart team just like that. They added a whole new product category to their portfolio of fitness products. And they have arguably one of the best and advanced bike trainers in this market. Garmin is a $13 billion company with a huge portfolio of fitness products. It's going to be interesting to see how they integrate tax into their portfolio. Usually with acquisition like this, companies will leave this, the team intact and leave most things the same. And I think that's Garmin plan for now. But we also might see them remove the tax name completely and move everything to their base camp and rebrand it. But I am not going to speculate on what's going to happen here because one thing I know from acquisition is nothing can happen or everything can happen. And only time will tell and honestly no one knows at this point. But few things I would like to point out and we're probably going to see pretty quickly. Better US distribution. The US bike market has been largely dominated by Wahoo and Cyclops right now. With this acquisition, I think Garmin has a huge advantage and they can change that very quickly. They already know how to do this and they are very good at it. I think Wahoo has a pretty good grip and financial support, but the competition for Cyclops just got a lot harder. Could we see better prices? I don't think so. I think the Flux and Flux 2 are already in line with other mid-range trainers. I also think the Neo is expensive, but at the same time, it is far more advanced than the Kicker or Cyclops H2. And Garmin can easily justify the extra $200. One thing we might see though, is a strong grip on those prices. You can get discounts right now on tax pretty much any time of the year. Retailer seems to have a little bit more freedom to apply certain promotion on tax products. However, Garmin, just like Wahoo, they like to control their prices and uh, we might not see sales or you might not be able to get those discount anymore. We are probably just going to see one or two sales per year. So if you are on the fence on a tax trainer, I would go get one right now. Also, I would like to see better integration. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in my Neo 2 review is that the Neo right now is limited by the software. Hopefully Garmin can change that and integrate all the features of the Neo into their Garmin Edge devices. So you're able to view all the cycling dynamics currently uh, the Neo is capable of doing. As far as tech software, in all honesty, I don't think we'll see any advancement here. We might see nothing happen or Garmin just going to let it go. For me, Garmin doesn't come across as a software company and even their Garmin Connect can use some love. Some people think Garmin might go after Zwift because Zwift bought Milestone Pod. No, I don't think so. Uh, Zwift has a pretty strong grip on the indoor cycling community market. I really don't see Garmin going after Zwift as a result of this acquisition. We might, I think they might need more acquisitions to do this. Zwift is more than just a cycling software. It's a community based training application. Anybody can build a cycling software, but the community is hard to build or buy. Also, I think this market is currently flooded with apps and only two or three are doing well. So Eric, I think you can go to sleep, but I would keep one eye open. I think taking on the Peloton might be an easier task for Garmin just because of the market size and the demographic. Garmin is also good at making products deadline and pushing products out of the door something tax seems to struggle with. But both are also good at making things very confusing for consumer. Both have so many products, so many models of the same product. Tax has so many wheel on trainers, I can't even tell the difference between them. And Garmin has so many watches and bike computer. If I ask someone which running watch I should get, I would probably get a different answer from each person I ask. Sometimes less is better. 
just thought I mentioned that. Okay, that's all I'm going to say on this. I would love to hear your thoughts on this acquisition. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's good for consumers? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.